Yeah, see, now you know why I tip this, this uh, rug upside down, because I can work off of this. If I had uh, a mat, you know, some sort of drop cloth, I probably should have brought that in, and then I could move this mat out of the way entirely, and bring uh, whatever drop cloth I have, but I don't. Okay, let's set this down here like this and see what's going on. See how, see how that's loose? And I'm, I'm not sure if there's anything that can be done with that, but let me take a look. Jeez, I've got a back brace on and everything and my back is already feeling sore. I think I'm just getting to be an old man or something. Okay, this is this is kind of bent right there. This is this, I don't know why they don't make these any stronger, but you see there's a spring-loaded tension goody there. So when you push down on that, that's what lets it come back up. So this side doesn't have one. And there's a little groove in there. Let's get you in there. See that? This here is supposed to be going through that hole, and it's not, and that's what's caused that. And I look on the other side of that, see, right there, it's supposed to go in there. So I'm thinking that maybe this rod is on a spring tension or something. I might have to grab that with a pair of needle nose or something and pull it back this way so that then it'll go up through there and in through that uh, and I, I'm not you know I'm not quite sure but see yeah this is just holding it down into there you know to just keep it up and down and that's got to be in there now how on earth did that come out I have no idea how that were to happen at all Okay, word to the wise. Whenever you need tools, make sure your toolbox and everything is all set up with where you know everything is. Right now, I'm kind of a little discombobulated because I'm over at my mother's and my tools are in Hawaii. <laughs> where they're kept. So, I had to go down to the store and get a few things and I thought I had a pair of pliers in there too. But I can't seem to find them, and I might need some needle nose, so I went down and got some needle nose like this. These are from Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh needle nose locking pliers, it says. And maybe I can grab this in here and see if I can just even pull it out. I'm not even sure. Oh. See if it slides. I think it. I think it is gonna slide. See, I. I wasn't gonna do this without you watching because I know you want to see what's going on. Okay. So because I got the vice grips like this, I can. I can adjust them until I clamp down on it. Let's see here. There. Now, it seems like it's moving, yeah. Okay. See? Look at that. Look at that. Now see where it came out. It came out of this other end. So now I've got to tap that back. There we go. Uh, silly rabbit. See there? I've done it by Joe. It's all where it's supposed to be. See how it's right? It's right through that now. I have no idea how that came out. Okay. So now when I push down on that, everything seems to be fine. Now, I don't, I don't think this is going to come out again, but... Uh, if I wanted to, 
Uh, I don't know. I could hit that. Oh, I think I tweaked my back or something. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Okay, I got that in there. I'm gonna leave it right there. And as for the door, I thought that was kind of slick. See, this thing here, if you don't like the almond color, they give you different panels. And they used to do that for, for uh, refrigerators, well, some refrigerators, and also for some dishwashers. The front panel sometimes could come off. So see, there's some screws on here. You could take this out. And, and see how this slides out of there a little bit? You could take the top part off and then this slides out somehow off to the side or something. And you could flip this around for a different color and then there might be another panel on the back side of that. So you could have white, uh, another one, you could have stainless steel and black or something like that. So that's kind of slick. If you ever get a chance, check that out. Now as for this dishwasher here, you can't do that on this type of door. You know, but some doors look exactly like this one, at least in the old days they did. I'm talking 15, 20 years ago. Check yours out and see, or if you're getting ready to replace your, your dishwasher or you want a trash compactor, look and see if they give you any options for the front panel color.